welcome to the blue corner my name is Dennis and it's that time of year for my top 10 favorite releases of 2023 yes I have 10 titles that stood above every other title <laughs> um, I'm not gonna be making best worst movies or any stuff like that this is a flat out top 10 favorite releases of 2023 it's gonna be blu-rays it's gonna be 4k's and it's the total package movie and the packaging so there's a lot of movies that won't be included on this list heck so far my favorite movie of the year is still john wick 4 and that's not on this list because, well, as much as I love the movie, it's a simple catalog release I have. Uh, yeah, there's not much fancy about that one. So, yeah, stuff like that won't be included. It is boutique stuff because that's what you get with boutique stuff. So, only rule is that it has to have been physically released in 2023 I can't include stuff that came out last year that I bought in 2023 so yeah I, I hope that's pretty simple to understand <laughs> let's just get into it I have two honorable mentions to go over first and the first one I picked the fight back to school set from 88 films i i really enjoyed these movies these were first time watches and the overall box artwork and the movies combined what's not to love i love this color scheme overall and if you take the single disc releases which is the way i prefer each movie having their own case, own artwork, all different colored artwork. Yeah, Fight Back to School, my first honorable mention. Next up, I picked from Vinegar Syndrome, Sidekicks on 4K. Now, technically, this one would probably have been included in my real top 10 if the artwork had been just a tad bit better i'm not the biggest fan of the artwork on this release to be honest but the fact that we have sidekicks on 4k is just it i love this movie i grew up with this movie way more than i ever did Stuff like Karate Kid and uh, what's the other movie I was thinking of? I I forgot that. But yeah, Sidekicks. Maybe some artwork like this would have put it over the top for me. Yeah, Sidekicks hasn't been out on physical since the DVD days. Never even got a Blu-ray release, and no big studio put this out on any format after DVD so vinegar syndrome going all the way giving us this thick edition of sidekicks <laughs> I love or hate vinegar syndrome this is a case of loving vinegar syndrome for me so yeah sidekicks my last honorable mention so let's just jump straight into number 10 I went with the psycho box set I really enjoyed the psycho movies even the sequels this was the first time I saw the fourth one ever so that's a first time watch psycho 2 I might even like that movie more than the first one so but yeah I really enjoyed this scheme of having these clear 
leaves over with artwork that makes it look better. I had the box it look like this without the sleeve that I would have taken that too. The red color here looks a bit bland if you ask me. So the fact that you can make it so much better with this plastic sleeve it's stuff like this that makes me love buying boutique stuff. So yeah that does quite a bit for the box set and the fact that they each have separate boxes again that that's the way to go in my mind new artwork again really great artwork i really like this artwork way more than the original so i'm keeping the new artwork on these instead of switching to the original is is that just me or do you guys do that too <laughs> and then a big ass booklet that i love is included but i'm probably never gonna get around to reading so yeah that's the stuff you get with boutique stuff and uh, so number 10 arrows psycho number nine a brand new company in did they come out in 2023 i do believe they did or very close to it at least i picked radiance films a moment of romance well, i did talk about this in a previous video this is for me a steelbook release without being steel <laughs> so i again artwork puts this release on the list for sure i love the color scheme of this artwork and of course i really enjoyed the movie as well this was a another first time watch andy lao that's enough for me to pick it up and the artwork just blew me away when i got it so yeah and the fact that you have this you can put over in here and artwork without any text like i said a steel book without the steel so number nine a moment of romance really good movie number eight eureka time again artwork great movie great this is a movie that I used to have it on DVD back in the day and then I just sold a ton of DVDs when Blu-ray came around and nobody put this movie out on Blu-ray for years and years and years and I wanted the DVD again because I really enjoyed the movie. The DVD however shut up in price got really expensive and was more than i was willing to pay for a dvd so when eureka announced that they were going to put out sea shoot straight all aboard pre-ordered right away again great artwork this is the kind of artwork where uh, i i forgot no no poster damn it <laughs> had there been a poster of this artwork and I had the room for it, this would totally have been on my wall. So yeah, great martial arts movie from Eureka. She shoots straight. I have a blast with this movie. So finally, it's out on Blu-ray. Oh, let's just run through these releases. Not make the video too damn long. And uh, let's see. Next up we have is it Cape Light? I forgot the company's name. Yeah, Cape Light. Bloodsport on 4K. <laughs> Again, another movie like Sidekick, Sidekicks that you wouldn't really expect to get a 4K release. And Cape Light did it. Bloodsport, classic Van Damme. I don't need to say much about that. This was one of the first media books that I ever bought. I, 
I do have a couple now, or do I have? I have four. I have one pre-ordered for January, but that's not the important part. But for it, amazing transfer, best looking version of the movie you'll ever see. Like I said, media book. You get booklet inside here. Now, Cape Light did put this out in Germany way before this edition, but again, the text inside is in German. Luckily enough, I held out to the day that it was announced that UK would be getting this edition. Same disc, both 4K and Blu ray, with the difference of the text inside being English. So I waited and I got this one. Much prefer this one. Like I don't read a ton of the booklets that's included in the releases, but when you put the book glued in like this, I, 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 I prefer that I can read what it says. So <laughs> I went with the UK edition of Love Spot. But yeah, great edition. Next, another 4K, which might surprise a few people that it's not higher on the list. I've seen people have it as number one if you're into martial arts and you do a top 10 list of the year like this. There's a good chance this is your number one. But for me, yeah, it's not. <laughs> I have the Bruce Lee at Golden Harvest box set in this spot because I've talked about it before Bruce Lee is very important to the martial arts world and his movies are too I really enjoy the movies themselves but Bruce Lee has never been one that really got me into martial arts movies at all so for that reason I, the box set well, Bruce Lee and the box set is important enough for me to have them in the collection. It's not, it's just not the movies I jump to if I want to, to watch a martial arts movie. I did have the Criterion Blu ray box set before this, but this is 4K and it is a nice box set. There's no way around that. Ton of content, both booklets and different versions of the movies you can spend hours and hours and hours watching all the stuff included here and the overall box set is just nice I went with the standard box set because the other one would have cost me way more so yeah Bruce Lee at Golden Harvest Next, a title that I didn't realize was being released at the time it was released. This is still a 2023 release. I just got it sometime later. From Australia, it sold out from the site. I was lucky enough to find a different seller that had it with the slipcover and everything. But in this spot, I picked. I saw the devil from Umbrella Entertainment. Freaking love this movie. Brutal as all hell and just really good, intense horror. Brutal <laughs> story. It, it, I love this movie. I saw the devil from Umbrella Entertainment. And I was so happy to get it with the slipcover starring Storm Shadow himself. <laughs> And of course, you do have Old Boy himself too. Uh, see, that's the alternate artwork. Or well, I guess this is. Maybe this is the alternate. I remember this artwork the most. So, yeah. I saw the devil. Korean cinema at its finest. Really good movie. And again, slipcover. Great artwork. Could have been on the wall. Yeah. 
let's just move on to the next one. From second sight, I picked Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original. Again, love the artwork on the box. Thick box, not gonna break anytime soon. Again, massive booklet that, again, <laughs> probably never gonna read. But it's included, so I want it. Yeah, art cards that I really haven't checked. I guess we could do that here. I did. I don't have the four extra cards that were included if you order directly. I can't order directly. They will get caught in customs and cost me way more. And I'm not paying that much extra for four extra art cards. So, yeah. And then, of course, you do have the discs. Again, great artwork expanding over multiple sides of the release. Second sight is truly one of the best companies out there when it comes to releases it's just not that many editions they put out that i have any interest in so technically that could be a good thing <laughs> with all the other stuff that i pick up second side releases aren't cheap but totally worth it and whenever they do a release i'm interested in it's coming home to the collection. There's Dawn of the Dead right there. They haven't put out a better release yet than Dawn of the Dead. So, yeah. of course, stuff like this, I'm picking it up. And it's in my top 10 of the year. Uh, let's see. Number three, I believe. Yeah. Again, from Australia, and I don't buy a lot of stuff directly from Australia because I don't know why, but Australia is just way more expensive to get home or get stuff home from than other countries. US, UK, I can buy from without it being over my budget. I do have a single imprint release that was a must buy for the collection and it was a expensive edition i didn't order it directly from australia or it would have been even more expensive than it was i found a danish site that actually imports imprint home granted still way more expensive there because they have to add a little extra to make some money but it was cheaper than ordering directly. Let's just say what I pick, if you've seen my uh, CD on Black Friday pickups video, I bought 24K titles. And what I paid for those 20 is almost what I paid for this one box set. But I had to get directed by walter hill the box set and the rumor is a volume two and i'm totally picking it up and walter hill i love my old school walter hill movies heck the warriors 4k just came out from arrow in america i have ordered it it's on bag order it hasn't shipped yet i'm hoping to have it soon that edition would probably have been on this list if I actually had the release in my hands. So that's how much I love my old Walter Hill movies. So getting a bunch of Walter Hill movies in this box set, no brainer. There is a few that I haven't watched or still haven't. Okay, I guess this one's the only one I haven't seen. Broken tra Trail, haven't gotten around to that one yet. Johnny Handsome, good movie. 
Extreme Prejudice. Love this movie. Uh, Lone Riders, good movie. The Driver, love this movie. And my favorite of the bunch, Hard Times. Love my... Take Charles Bronson and Walter Hill and combine them. And you have to love that movie. It's just... It's the law. <laughs> it's just in my book, at least. So, yeah. At number three, directed by Walter Hill. Freaking love this box set. <laughs> and that's gonna be the case with the remaining releases too. Now, on to my sec fir no, first and second place. Technically, they can switch depending on what time of week you ask me. There's no doubt that these are my two favorite releases of the year. So, in this video, or for this video, my second place goes to In the Line of Duty 1 to 4 from 88 Films, US release, again, artwork that totally would have been on my wall had I had the space, and there is a few poster, uh, posters of this in this box set. Normally, I'm not a fan of box sets. <sighs> I guess you can't tell that by this video but normally I would prefer individual releases because in this day and age nothing's ever complete and thankfully they well technically it isn't them all but they didn't write the complete series or the complete for anything duality or whatever in this there is still more sequels and Eureka did put out the same four movies in single slipcover editions. They started putting them out before 88 put this one out. I bought them. I had all four Eureka single editions and I sold them. I much prefer the artwork on this box set. I did not like the artwork on the Eureka titles. So there was no problem for me to sell those editions and keep this. I do hope 88 do get around to trying to get the remaining of the franchise. Because this is one of my favorite Hong Kong franchises. So to get the remaining movies would be a big plus. But again, great artwork. I, I Again, keeping the new commissioned artwork. Every single edition of these movies would have been had the poster on my wall had they been included and I had the space. Great overall franchise, great artwork. Again, what's not to love? And of course, you do have two post double sided posters and you have the booklet. Great freaking release. And like I said, depending on what day of week you ask me, this could easily have been my number one and would have been the second year in a row. 88 would have gone with the first place. So they did last year. If you haven't checked out my top 10 of 2022, you can go back and check it out. But my Number one of the year, again, going back to Australia. I'm surprised at that myself, actually, with how few titles from Australia I have. This, or these movies, have been so important for me to get on Blu-ray for several years. And that is the main reason why I have the Pusher Trilogy. As my number one of 2023. Again, this is a Danish trilogy that I've loved for so many years. And the studio that has, or the studio that made them here in Denmark, well, I talked about it when I got it. They haven't cared about physical media for quite some time. And 
simply stopped releasing anything on physical media. There was a DVD here and again, but it was DVD and HD digital only. We haven't had this on Blu-ray ever here in Denmark. The studio have since started putting out newer movies on Blu-ray again here and there. So me bashing them on Facebook whenever I could, telling other people that they simply didn't care about us, physical media collectors, if that had any effect, well, I, I'm glad. I they, The fact that they have started putting out a few more Blu-rays again is a big win for me. And that Austra a country like Australia is putting out this Danish trilogy that we can't even get here in Denmark ourselves. It's just that says something about the movies themselves. So yeah, all the way from Australia, Umbrella Entertainment is the winner of the year for me with the Pusher trilogy. I freaking love these movies. Pusher. Of course, that had to be my number one. So that's it. My top 10 of 2023. What's your top 10? Let me know down below. There, I have a ton of titles I could have included here. I could have made favorite uh, top 10 favorite Blu-rays, top 10 favorite 4Ks, top 10 favorite boutiques, all that stuff. But I'm not gonna. <laughs> and if you know why, or don't know why, go back and check my last video. I explain it all there. So with that, again, let me know down below what's your top 10. With that, please do remember to hit the like button on the way out. And with that, thanks for watching. That's it. Peace out.